Hi guys and welcome back to Rexy's Reviews. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Matchbox Dino Hauler line. Uh, we have in a separate video reviewed the, the single separate Matchbox cars on the OG Greybacks. Uh, so now we're going to have a look at the Dino Hauler Twin Packs. So here we go. So first up we have the Armoured Raptor Hauler, so this is a pretty heavy duty truck with an opening canopy on the back, so you can put the little uh, the little blue Raptor that it comes with, so you can uh, stick her into the back of the truck and transport her around. So very much on the uh, the in-gen side of things, although none of these vehicles, or most of these vehicles, don't actually represent ones from the film, but nice. Next up we have the Tyranno Hauler. So this is an in-gen uh, Hummer that's been souped up and armoured with giant grabbing claws on the front. To be able to uh, snatch and pick up the Tyrannosaurus that comes with it. Uh, like a metallic green base with InGen logo on the on the hood there. I don't know if you can kind of see, probably not. Um, and then a lot of uh, armament around the sides and roof of the vehicle. And then like I say, big grabbing claws at the front. So you can kind of see the action on the back there. There we are. Should have probably shown you the images on the uh, Raptor Hollow one. There you go. Next up, we have the Raptor Copter. So this one, uh, four blade rescue helicopter and um, no engine markings or anything on this one and then a set of grabbing hooks underneath so you can carry grab and carry the little blue model that comes with it uh, same dinosaur as the other raptor hauler but obviously this time goes with a helicopter stay on the back there there we are. And next up, we will go with the Tricera Tracker. So this is an in-gen. This one does have in-gen markings on it. Um, I think this is a Hummer, but not the same as the individual ones. With the big cage on the front that you sit the Triceratops in. Uh, I think the, the premise of it is that you drive into it. Triceratops goes in and you lift it off its feet. Obviously, with it being a toy on the matchbox, you just have to put it, put the Triceratops in from the top and the, the cage drops down flat. Uh, similar colour green to the, uh, the Textron Tiger in the individual ones. And you can just sort of see the actions there. Let's have a look what we've got next. We have the T-Rex trailer. So same little T-Rex model as before, but this time with a cage lorry. Uh, the cage on this one pivots up above the cab, put the T-Rex in and then lower it down on top of it and close the door up on the back. Uh, next but not least we have a Triceracopter so this is a different helicopter this time same Triceratops as before um, I think it's a di uh, not exactly the same Triceratops uh, it's a different helicopter this time though uh, doesn't say anything on no rescue or in-gen or anything like that. 
with a nice big net underneath to put the triceratops in and then you hook it back round and off it flies don't quite know how the helicopter is meant to land with the triceratops underneath it but i guess we just need to use our imagination on that one there we go guys you can see there um, and last but not least, we have the Dilopho loader. There we go. So another big truck with a pivoting arm on its back with hooks sticking out the back of it. Just up here. So they fall down flat. Grab around the neck of the Dilophosaurus just behind its frill and then picks it up into the air don't know what their animal rights would have to say to these capture techniques but there we go thank goodness they're only toys there we go and just noticed a little thing on the back not for use with some dinosaurs clearly you can only pick certain dinosaurs up by the neck there we are so spin it round have a look on the back and you can see those lovely kind pickup techniques on the back there. There we are. Now, part of this line, there was one more that was only released in very, very small numbers in the state. That was the uh, deep dive submarine with the uh, Mosasaurus that never got released over here. Never got released in big numbers. I think it was just a few that made it out into the wild before it was withdrawn from release for some reason. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to add that one to the collection. But I will keep my fingers crossed that one day it finds its way into my hands. I would love to be able to say I've truly completed the line. Who knows? Yeah. And last but not least. There we go. So that is the Jurassic World Matchbox Dino Haulers line. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, love to hear you read your comments and hit that like button. And see you next time.